Hey folks, Weingart here, and this is an MCrit Wii. It's an MCrit Video Wii. Uh, a lot of folks have asked me to explain how I intubate through intubating laryngeal mask airways. And the method I use was taught to me by Dan Cook, inventor of the AirQ. And as always, MCrit takes money from no one. And it was such a brilliant method. Essentially, you drop in the superglottic airway. I use the AirQ. The video you're about to see uses the Ambu version. It's basically the same move as long as they're wide bore enough to intubate. This works through an eye gel, an AirQ, an Ambu aura. And once that's in, it's confirmed with waveform and tidal CO2. What you want to do is grab a bronch port adapter and put it on the end of an endotracheal tube and then sink that endotracheal tube until just before the tip would pop out of the bowl of the laryngeal mask airway and then inflate the balloon. Now attach the ventilator to that bronch port and what you have is the ability to continue ventilating and oxygenating through that LMA while you get everything else ready. The beauty of having a bronch port at the top is you could actually sink your bronchoscope, whether it be a disposable like you're going to see in this video or a reusable bronchoscope, down through that bronch port into the endotracheal tube and pop out just into the bowl of the LMA, see the cords, sink the bronch down to the carina, then push your endotracheal tube in until it's at the proper depth. And at that point, pull out your bronchoscope. You are now ventilating through an ET that is past the cords. That ET is inserted through the laryngeal mask airway. You could leave everything as is and let the folks upstairs, when the patient's more stable, deal with getting out that LMA, whether it means by tube exchange or through actually uh, whatever method the LMA manufacturer has recommended to uh, exchange out that LMA while leaving the endotracheal tube in situ. Or you, like I say, you could just leave it, which is probably the safer move in a patient who is a difficult airway or who is really sick, and we could figure it out upstairs. Darren Brody, airway aficionado, airway guru, has, uh, in a real patient, he had permission, uh, demonstrated this technique. It's an actual situation. You'll see him exchange out an Ambu Aura for an endotracheal tube while continuing to oxygenate and ventilate the entire time. Super cool. Thank you, Darren. Thank you, Naomi Bancroft, who is the resident performing the actual procedure. And I think you guys are going to love it. If you have any questions, then just put them in the comments section of this post. You don't get an opinion. <laughs> you ever have to send somebody a story for those that don't know where they're at? They're on the front. Awesome. Okay. All right. So endoscopic exchange of an LMA. Okay. So the LMA aura gain is, the aura gain is in. Okay. So go ahead and um, put that on your ET tube. You mean not, the LMA? On the ET tube. Okay. We're not going to break that direct cycle yet. The 7 0 ET tube. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is you're going to put the ET, you're going to take this circuit off. You're going to put the ET tube into the barrel of the LMA, the organ. Blow this up just a little bit to seal it in the caliber. It won't take much. Then you're going to reconnect this to the top of your bronch adapter and ventilate the patient that way. How far do I advance the ET just, uh, tube into the LMA? Uh, probably about uh, two, three inches in. You're going to create dead space, but that's still going to ventilate them well. So I'm going to have you remove the, you ready? The vent, yep. And you can go ahead and connect that back onto there. Yep. Just a little bit, yeah, there we go. Okay, so now you're ventilating him through with this extra dead space. Okay. okay. Now take your A-scope, and we're going to pass the A-scope through your bronch adapter port. Okay. So keep track of your directional bend. Ready? So yep. you know, because you think about which way when you come oh, off the end, right. yep. which way you're going to want to go. I want to go that okay. way. Okay. You, you should come right out. Go, pa go ahead and pass it through your port. And then you'll lube. Don't get lube on the end, is it going to affect your view on the side? You can put a little bit. What happened? Oh, you're right. Okay. Still a page for you. You know, see? Yep. Are you able to help hold that all the way up? What do you want me to do? Just hold hold, hold here. Hold yeah, up yeah. here. Okay. 
Okay, so now you're seeing the end of the, coming out the end of the barrel. There you go. Okay, you see cords right ahead of you? Now take your time, you paralyze, you see ventilated. Just drive carefully, now turn over the top. Take a second. Oh, thank you. So if you lose your view, just you back up to where you get it again. Let me know where. Go ahead. And over. And now you're going to go in. You're going to go drive down to the Carina. Okay, keep going down. A little blood in the. So he has aspirated. Okay, so right there is Carina. Okay? okay? At that point, now undo your balloon. Take the air out of your balloon. Okay. She can hold the ET tube, Barbie. You can just take the air out of the ET tube, yeah, not the element. Okay. Alright, one more time, sorry. It's okay. And now slowly advance your tube. Keep your rock where you can see your view and just advance your your tube. Try to keep it generally in in place. Good. So now you're you're good. So you can take your scope out. Okay. And we're just going to continue to ventilate him for a minute, and then we can, if we want, exchange, you know, pull out the LMA okay. and leave the tube in place. But 